This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I fix overlapping UVs after merging two subtools? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example file here loaded in. So this example file consists of two subtools. So I have a cylinder object here, and then a capsule object. And both of these subtools have UV coordinates. So if I come over to the tool panel and have the cylinder selected here, and go down to the UV map area and click Morph UVs, you can see this is what the cylinder unwrap looks like. And then if I go to the capsule, and then go back down to the UV map and click Morph UV, you can see this is what the capsule looks like. Now the question is asking about taking two subtools with UV coordinates, and after you merge them together, their UV coordinates will be overlapping. So how can I go by fixing that? So to start off, first I just want to merge these two objects together. So I'm coming here and make sure both the eyeball icons are turned on, and then just select one of them. So I'm going to select the cylinder pipe here. And then to perform the merge, I'm going to come down here to the merge area. So that is tool, subtool, merge. And then in here we have a button called merge visible. Now when you click the merge visible button, it's going to take any subtools that are visible in your scene here, and then merge them together, creating a new tool. Now before we click this, since these two subtools have UV coordinates, we want to make sure we come over here and toggle the UV option on. So this is going to make sure when these objects are merged together, that it's not going to remove their UV coordinates. So turning this on and then clicking Merge Visible, which is going to process this. And then if we go back to the top of our tool palette here, we should have a new tool created called Merge Cylinder. And if I select this, this should be the result I'm getting here. And then if I go to the tool palette again, and then go to the UV map area, and now click Morph UV, you'll see that I have the UV coordinates for both the objects, so the cylinder and the capsule. And now you'll see they appear to be overlapping. So since both objects' UV coordinates were falling in that 0 to 1 space, they are now overlapping like this. So how can I edit these so these are no longer on top of each other? So to do this, we can use the UV Master plugin. So I'm going to come up here to the top and open up the Plugin tab. And I'm going to locate UV Master and open this up. And in here we have some tools that we can use that will allow us to unwrap the models in our scene. Now currently, this mesh already has UV coordinates, so I don't want to generate a new unwrap. But what I want to do is come down here to the Utilities area, and I want to click Work on Clone. So this is going to take my object, and it's now going to generate a clone of it in the tool palette. And now I have an object that I can come through and manipulate. And one of the manipulation processes I can use is this Flatten option here. So this is going to take the cloned version of my model, and now when I click Flatten, it's going to perform a similar operation to what that Morph UV was doing. However, now I can come through and I can manipulate the UVs inside of ZBrush. So after Flatten has been clicked, you'll see I have all the UV islands sitting on top of each other still. And now I can hold down Control and Shift and select the Select Rectangle Brush. And then, with the Select Rectangle Brush and the Gizmo 3D or the Transpose line, I can start moving these islands around as if they were just normal geometry inside of ZBrush. So holding down Control and Shift will give me the Select Rectangle Brush. Now I can come across one of these parts and click, which will isolate it. And click again to hide it. I can hide another part, and I can hide another part. And I just want to get it to where I have one set of UVs that doesn't contain any overlapping elements. After I have something like this, I can now mask these portions out by holding Control and dragging across everything. And then I can hold Control and Shift to get back to my Select Rectangle Brush, and then click off on a blank spot on my canvas which is going to expose those parts that I hid temporarily. And now I can switch to the Gizmo 3D by going to Move, Scale, or Rotate. And now if I use the Move option here, you can see I can now pull off one set of those UVs and stick it over to the side. And then I'll just clear my mask with Control. And so now I have all these parts separated, so they're no longer on top of each other. However, now I need to take these parts and I need to fit them into that zero to one UV space. So this little area where the grid is being displayed. So I wanna come through and center my gizmo across everything. Then I wanna scale this down a little bit. And now I wanna come through and I wanna start moving these parts to fill the space. So I'm manually coming through and manipulating the UVs. So using control and shift to get the select rectangle brush, I can select one of these parts. 
Then I can use the Gizmo 3D to move it, clear my mask, select another part, use the Gizmo 3D to move it, clear my mask, select another part, move it, clear mask. And I can do this and come through and start manipulating these UVs to place them all on this UV space here. Now, you can also perform rotational functions as well. So with the Gizmo 3D selected, I can have this part unmasked. I can rotate this and hold down shift to snap it to 90 and try to fit it into the UV space here. And you just wanna come through and manipulate the UVs until you have no overlapping geometry. So I'm gonna come through here and zoom in a little bit and manipulate these a little bit more to kind of get these bumped a little bit closer to the edges and give this part over here a little space. And then now, after I have everything inside this UV area, I can now go back to the Z plugin tab here and go to UV Master. And now I can click Unflatten. And this is going to take the mesh and unflatten it back to what it was originally. And then at this stage, I can now click the Copy UVs. This is going to copy the UVs that are on the cloned version of the model. Then I can go back to my original merge cylinder over here. I can now go to UV Master again. So Z plugin, UV Master. And now I can click Paste UVs, and that's going to paste the UVs on to the original mesh. And now with the original merged mesh selected, if I come down here and click Morph UV, you can see that now the UV coordinates still exist for both those subtools, so the cylinder and the capsule, and they're no longer overlapping. So to quickly recap, after you've created a new tool using the merge processes inside of ZBrush, you can then go to the Z plugin tab, go to UV Master, you can click on Work on Clone to generate a cloned version of your mesh. You can then click Flatten, and after you click Flatten, it will take your mesh and flatten it out, and then you can use the Select Rectangle Brush by holding Control and Shift, along with the Gizmo 3D or Transpose line to manipulate your UVs, and then after your UVs are manipulated, you can copy them and then paste them back to your original model. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!